Yeah, what's going on? Keenan Allen, L.A. Chargers wide receiver. Been playing for nine years. Touchdown, Chargers! The captain, Keenan Allen. New to the city. Just seeing those spots that I've seen on the movies, seeing that it's real. Deep shot. Herbert connects with Allen. Touchdown. Look at the route by Keenan Allen. Chargers! Captain Clutch! We're going to catch up with Snoop, and we're going to introduce me into the music city life. L.A. music, just a different vibe. You get the, the Nipsey, the Snoop, so it's always good vibe. to get real fun for y'all. You know, sit back, relax, and uh, we're gonna enjoy the city life. Uncle Snoop, man, yes, I appreciate sir. you having me here. The mothership, man, let us know where we is, man, where we at. We in Inglewood, the city of Inglewood, California, inside of my studio, the mothership, the compound, something that I built years ago. This is like eight minutes from your home stadium at the SoFi. I wanted to have something that was in the city of Inglewood that could be here when I'm gone, something that could be symbolic to what I've done as far as musically, you know, visually, and just, you know, giving opportunities to a lot of artists that's, you know, coming out this way. So that's what we're inside of the mothership right now. I really appreciate it growing up. I've always been a fan, man, movies, music, obviously, man. Just how did it start? What made you want to do the music, though? I wanted to be an athlete in the beginning. You know, I wanted to be a basketball player, football player, all of the above, everything, because I went to Poly High School, so home of scholars and champions. And when I seen it, I didn't really have the the work ethic as far as working out. And I had to find something that, that I loved doing, and it was rapping, because rapping was just fresh on the scene, and it was something that I knew how to do. So I just had to focus my energy and my attention on getting better, like studying the greats, practicing my style, freestyling, battling, to where I got good enough to make cassettes. And when I started making cassettes, my community supported me to let me know that you're good enough to actually get into the industry. So I just believed in myself and believed in my homeboys, and we just started making music, and then it happened to fall in Dr. Dre's lap, and the rest is history. So what about you as far as, like, to be able to say that you're an elite receiver in the NFL, what's the work ethic like? Every day, man, um, it's a grind. With yourself, it's like when you wake up, you, you just it's that urge that you gotta be better. You, know? you gotta be better, you know somebody else out there working. And when I was growing up, Robert Woods, he was on the West Coast, I was on the East Coast. But that person that they tell you is always working harder than you, you always got him in your mind. So you just gotta keep working, you gotta keep working, you know? There's somebody else out there working too. That's crazy, because I used to always have that vision of Jay-Z because I felt like he was my peer, and I felt like we was always eye to eye with each other, and I was always looking across the bridge to see what he doing. He doing, exactly. Let me see if I gotta come better than that. I gotta, he outworking me right now. I, I think about it now. Julio Jones, Stephon yeah, Diggs. right. Gotta get better. Too. You got better. The yeah, L ain't a loss, it's a lesson. Yeah. We take all our L's with our head up. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Because we know we're gonna get better off of that. Got to. If I didn't know how to lose, I wouldn't know how to win. <sighs> One more time. If I didn't know how to lose, I wouldn't know how to win. Wow. So being in San Diego now, converting to Los Angeles, what's the difference as far as like the fan base, the expectations as far as LA and San Diego? I would say the expectations is way higher. Obviously, when I first got drafted, I had the Raiders hat on. I didn't even know it was. A, I didn't even know. I, I didn't even know it was a rival team. I didn't know NFL had rivalries. He wearing I the enemy up, hat at the sign. I'm at the sign. <laughs> I'm wearing the Raiders hat. L.A., it's just a lot of expectation coming. You got the Lakers, you got the Dodgers, you know. It's, it's a winning city, it's Hollywood, you know, it's bright lights. You got to perform or it ain't happening, so. And y'all playing in that brand new stadium where the Super Bowl stadium. gonna be at. How about that? Inglewood, the city, what does it mean, you know, to have a Super Bowl here? Inglewood is a black city to begin with. Inglewood is a city that's community-based, that's on the incline, that's growing, and, and, and it's been known for great championships from the Lakers at the Forum back in the days. So for them to be able to have a Super Bowl at a brand new stadium, that's the highest level of respect for this city, for the community. To give us a Super Bowl in such a prestige look with that stadium. That is one of the most beautiful stadiums built. So it's like LA, Inglewood, California. We thankful for that because it's gonna be a lot of businesses that are gonna prosper. It's gonna be a lot of opportunities and a lot of ways for us to show how we are a city that can conduct a great Super Bowl weekend, have amazing parties, make sure it's safe. I got a store, a clothing store that's directly across the street from SoFi Stadium. It's called Snoopy's. And it's a clothing store based off of, you know, my first album, Doggy Style, and all of my artwork and all of the great fashion that I like wearing and displaying. And then I got kids' clothes, I got women clothes, mm -hmm. I got Things for players like us. We got something for everybody in there. And I got something for you right now. Uh -oh. oh. Open that, nephew. Get my own yeah. doggy bag. Fit for a cane. You know what I'm talking about? Him. Yeah, that's him, Jim. <sighs> Your size. Oh, I appreciate that, huh? Come on, man. We got to drape you out and drip you up. 
So now that we got that out the way, I think what we should do now is go to the practice field so you can see my six-year-old charger football team. I don't know, I'm excited. Let's go make it happen. Let's do it. Keenan. He played for the real L.A. Chargers. I got one of those helmets like y'all. Yeah, yeah. You can throw me a, a pass. Oh, he can throw you a real one. No, 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 you got to run a route. He can't you want me to run something? Run something. Say no more. <laughs> Come on. There you go. There you go. That means to me everything to be out here with Snoop. Been an idol all my life, uh, watching him on TV, hearing the music, seeing the things he does in his community. He's just a great role model. As you can see, he's out here with the kids. So it's just great to see somebody like that as high as he is to do it, you know, come back with the five, six-year-olds and get back to them. Kids are everything to the community. Everything starts with the kids. You do everything for the kids. Me be it a dad, I do everything for my kids. So it starts with them and how they respond to us. First game, first game Saturday. I hope y'all do great. I hope y'all have a lot of fun. Y'all had a great job at practice today. You just got to know that every day matters. And every day you come out here, you got to get better. Charges on three, charges on three. 